hey everyone welcome to my youtube channel my study now before we go for any kind of discussion related to hosting a static website on aws there are few things i would like to highlight at this particular level let's say i'll just go to my uh, youtube analytics you'll be able to see that there are only 98 percentage people who have no subscribe to anything on my channel there are only two percentage of people who is watching this video they have subscribed to it so i would highly suggest you please please go and subscribe to my channel and that will keep motivating me to create such a great content so now let's just get back to our work that what we are going to do throughout this whole video so in this video we are going to host a static website and there are a lot of different ways to host a static website like a s3 simple storage way also and then we have a container based system which you can deploy you can deploy those container as a kubernetes cluster also and whole hell lot of ways you can uh, deploy your static website so in this video we are going to use this uh, aws amplify to host your static website so what are the steps we are going to follow so we are going to create one sample react application where we are going to use this uh, wit uh, as a front-end tooling system then we push those things to the github then we are going to deploy to the aws amplify so without much further ado let me just quickly go to my aws console and i'm going to open my cloud shell because all this uh, development environment we are going to do from the cloud shell okay so the very first thing is let's say i'm just going to create uh, one folder inside that we are going to keep all the code so let's say i'll create something like uh, mkdir making directory let's say my web okay let me just go inside my web okay so currently there is nothing inside this my web folder now i'm going to create this uh, with this npm create one sample static website okay so it's just going to use this wit as a latest version and static website with this react template so npm is a, one of the package manager available for the javascript based programming language and it's by default installed in this one so we can always go ahead okay so done see scaffolding projects has been done now you can see in this one the static website uh, as a folder being created we can just go inside this static website and next thing i just need to do npm install so it just started downloading uh, stuff for us and install it so all those basic project related uh, configuration and everything will be set up now you can have a look at this thing you can do directly from your local machine also in our case we are going to do it from our aws cloud shell okay done uh, let me just clear the screen npm install is done next thing is npm run dev anyhow we won't be able to um, access it if you are running the same thing from your local machine from um, this local host 5173 you will be able to access the application although we are not going to do it so let me just come out from here how i can come out yeah done okay now uh, let me clear the screen and i just want to show you that these are the all files being created and it has some static uh, website kind of code is available now this thing we want to deploy to the aws amplify and for that it has to be available somewhere let's say i'll just go to aws amplify because recently i have visited this one uh, it has to be situated somewhere let's say i'll just start with deploying my application on some version control system so either on a github git base that is a bit bucket code commit code commit i just cannot continue with it because support has been uh, gone and you just cannot create a new repository or gitlab we are going to go ahead with this uh, github and moment i press next uh, it has to be available uh, this code on this github so currently we haven't pushed those code so first ever thing we are going to push this code 
and you can even deploy without even git also and you can always start with such a kind of template so we are going to start with this with template okay for now let me go to my github account oops there are some earlier repository being displayed here okay so currently i am logged in to it so i'm just going to create uh, my new repository let me make fonts little bigger uh, let's say uh, repository name i'm just going to keep it like uh, anything you can keep it let's say static website okay so it's available we are just going to make it public and let me quickly create it okay so these are the initial step where we want to send all our code so i'll just go ahead with this git in it on my cloud shell so i'm currently inside my static website folder let's say i'll just go ahead with git in it so it just initialize uh, git stuff at this particular location okay no adding of file we just want to add all the files so for that i have to go for uh, git add let's say dot so it has added all the file next thing is git uh, let's say i'll just try to do git status so these are the new files exist which uh, we want to push to the uh, our github repository next thing uh, let me just commit with my first one so i'll just gonna use this git commit minus m and it's just gonna be first commit okay so everything being committed let me clear the screen in your case if it is not committed there are some uh, help stuff uh, they will provide to you where you need to set this global user name uh, and global user uh, email address also okay so this is are the things done next thing is let me just make this branch as a main where i just want to push everything and uh, i just need to set where i want to push it before that i just need to connect whatever my source code is there has to be connected with this particular repository so this git remote add origin eventually set up this particular uh, remote url to my repository and the last one will be you just need to do git push so eventually all the code will be pushed here now you need to provide the username for your git account and password so password won't work directly so in that particular case from your uh, account you have to go to some setting so i'm just going to open setting where you can generate some um, access token from the developer setting okay within a personal access token let me just go to token classic and i'm just going to generate a new one okay so it's just asking me password once again for generating stuff okay what this uh, personal token you want because that will behave like a password so this thing i want uh, for aws amplify the only purpose i am writing you can set your expiration so after 30 days anyhow it's going to expire so let me select and give let's say all write related permission that's must no admin stuff but let me just provide all the permission although these are all not required actually i think that's good enough let me generate a token okay so token being generated let me copy it and now from my cloud shell i'm just gonna yeah bang on we are able to push everything to the our static website repository if i just refresh on this particular place you will be able to see all the codes are currently available you can have a look at the current commit also in the main branch so all the commits uh, we have just one commit for now okay and you can see with this first commit came here okay so now everything is done now we can just simply go to our aws amplify and i'm going to select this github let me press next and it's just going to authenticate with uh, my github account so now all the repository available here now earlier also i authenticated so it didn't ask me again but in your case you just need to provide the authentication uh, github authentication to your aws so i'm just going to select my repository static website 
with the main branch let me go for next and the app name let me just make it static website that's perfectly fine and it has auto detected based on the framework we have used that while running your application what particular command you need to run from the front end next uh, these are all settings you can always uh, refer that uh, while deploying your application it's just going to use this much uh, setting and let me save and deploy now deploying uh, will take a few minutes so let's just wait for some time meanwhile we'll get uh, some url through which uh, we can access our application so deployment i guess it's still going on see uh, from here we can be able to monitor the status for now let me just visit to this domain and you can see your app uh, will appear here once you complete your first deployment so for now uh, i'm just going to pause my video and let's just wait for a few minutes and i'll get back to you once the application will be successfully deployed and we'll just simply serve from here and check whether our static web page is uh, coming or not wait so currently that's the default page is coming because no application is deployed it's still deploying okay so i'll get back to you once the application will be deployed all right so after some uh, one or two minutes uh, it took to deploy it and this green status indicates that it's uh, successfully being deployed now i can go to our uh, url and let me just refresh you'll be able to see our static page of wit plus react coming there is a very simple application like a uh, count geo so if you just click uh, continuously clicking the count will increase so there is nothing inside this app but in this video we have seen how you can deploy your static website uh, which is react and wit based with the help of this npm building we created those application and we pushed to the github repository and eventually we just simply deploy to the aws simplify now at then uh, we don't want this application so from this setting uh, we can go to general setting and i am just simply going to uh, delete this application so let me delete uh, next thing is uh, from cloud shell i don't think we require to delete anything but this particular one we have to delete so first this token needs to be deleted and afterwards uh, we'll just go to our repository which anyhow i don't require so i'll just go ahead or let me just keep it this repository as it is doesn't matter actually anyhow it's going to be free okay so that's all about this video i hope you enjoy listening this video and please do like and comment on my video and please 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 do subscribe my channel so that i can keep creating such a great content on aws i'll get back to you in the next one